Today's video is on a review, just a recap and update of what's going on on my channel. Yeah, those are gonna include topics such as designer month. Basically, I'm focusing on doing more designer fragrance reviews compared to niche and indie. Uh, that's coming right up. Also, we're gonna talk about what's under my hat. I wear a hat all the time in my videos. and People are very curious what I keep under there. I keep my whole entire fragrance collection, but we're gonna tell you exactly what it is. We're going to talk about clones as well, uh, not colognes, but clones, uh, very popular fragrances that are cloned by clone houses. And last but not least, we're going to talk about the giveaway uh, winners. So we've had some um, big uh, giveaways that I've, I've been doing here. One of them is the 100 sample giveaway winner to that comment that was received on my video and a few old one, actually just one old one uh, that I've been lagging on posting the, uh, the winner info for, and that's for the Parfum du Cida Fleur de Lelita and Era One decants. But I'm also going to announce the winners for Oliver & Co's full bottle, and then of course more recent uh, Carta Moena's 1269 samples, the five samples winners. All coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. And yes, this is basically an update recap, just go over some stuff that I've been meaning to uh, talk to you all about. And of course, at the very end, we're gonna announce the winners. So this could be a little bit of a long video. I'm sorry for that. So first off, I wanted to just say thank you for continuing to follow my channel. Um, it's been um, a good two and a half years that I've been doing this now on this new channel. and. We're approaching 12,000 subscribers, so, so thank you so much. I still focus on lots of niche and indie uh, brands, mostly on here, but still do some designer fragrance reviews and so forth. But I also like to keep uh, focusing on more obscure designers rather than the very popular ones that everybody knows about. But that's gonna lead off to my first important announcement on this channel. I've decided in February to focus more on designer reviews. So I'm calling it designer month. So whereas normally on my channel, we'd probably do about 75% niche and indie and 25% designer per month. I'm going to switch it around. And so we're going to do 25% niche and indie and 75% designers. So in February, you're going to find a lot of designer videos uh, or fragrances that are designers videos on this channel. So um, I'm going to focus even on the lists that we're doing on this channel to be, to be more designer focused. Uh, but every video that I launch should focus more on designers and you'll, you'll see some niche slip in there here and there because I am required to do some but uh, we're gonna do some uh, more designer fragrances because people keep asking me and people think that I'm just into niche and uh, indie fragrances where it's not really true. I personally love all kinds of fragrance and I love to smell great. Of course, that's what the name of this channel is, Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. So if a fragrance is a designer and smells great, I'm gonna want to wear it. If a fragrance is $10 and it smells great, I'm gonna wear it. It doesn't matter what it costs, it doesn't matter who releases it or who launches it. But I tend to focus more on niche and indie because everything from the designers I've already smelled, they all start smelling the same, so I'm always looking for the most unique scents. That's why I focus on those types of uh, um, brands, niche and indie. But because you've been asking and because I have fragrances that I had reviewed on the old channel and I have not reviewed them on this channel, plus there's a lot of new stuff that I've obtained throughout the years, we're gonna do this uh, this month in February and just focus on the designers more so that you will uh, see what I have and uh, have to offer as far as designer fragrances go. We're also going to focus on some cheap or inexpensive brands or fragrances of course and of course some obscure designers that you might have not heard about and don't think that they're designers even though they are. We're also going to focus on classic fragrances that are part of the designers catalog so that's what I've decided to do in February just an all-around more focus on designer where whether it's uh, the latest releases or classic releases or vintage fragrances or older classics or whatever if they're from designers we'll focus on those more plus you know we'll also do the cheap or inexpensive fragrances that are more easy to access and play from places like amazon and fragrance net and places like that where you can buy them for relatively inexpensively uh priced uh, prices and we'll do that so that'll be february just to show you that i do love 
designer fragrances and I'm not a snob that just focuses on niche and indie fragrances or more expensive fragrances, which I do tend to like, but again, as I was saying, I like all fragrances as long as they smell great and make me smell great. So that's designer uh, month for February 2018. So the next question I wanted to answer was, what's under my hat? Uh, so why do I wear a hat? Um, there are several reasons why I wear a baseball hat. So on the previous channel, I didn't wear a baseball hat frequently. I actually wore hats in various different kinds, but I'm a very self-conscious person and I like to look and present myself very well on camera. And in all honesty, I have some of the thickest, most unmanageable hair in the world. It's very, very curly and it's very thick. So what does the hat do? It keeps it all down. Um, recently I got accused of being bald under, a hat, under the hat. No, I don't have a balding issue actually. Both sides of my family, my mom's side and dad's side, full head of hair. So I'm not bald under here. Um, I do have thick hair though. The only other issue is I am going gray. So that's the only other issue, but both families, even though they didn't have balding issue, they did have graying issues. So I am going gray. And that's another reason why I like to keep the hat on because it's dark and it makes my, my, my head look dark. So those are some of the reasons why I like to wear this hat. It's just easier to manage the hair. I don't have to trim it all the time, even though I do. But if I'm not, I put it on. Plus, it's kind of like a signature for me. You'll recognize me. And if I'm in public settings, you'll see me with the hat on. And uh, you'll see it's me. It's not somebody else or it could be somebody else, but it's recognizable. So it's kind of my signature sort of for this channel and I like wearing it. And no, I'm not hiding things under there. <laughs> Just my hair, of course. And no, I'm not bald. I am going gray, but I'm not bald. I'm, I'm almost 50 years old, by the way. So graying is gonna be an issue with me, but balding is not. I have not lost a single strand of hair and I have full head of hair and it's thick and unmanageable. So that's why I wear a hat. And no, I'm not, also I'm not hiding my collection. I don't have hiding anything under this hat, just my head and the hair under it. So that's my hat. So if you don't like me wearing a hat, I'm sorry, I can't help that. But this channel is a channel with me and my hat and I'll always have the hat on and uh, I'll be doing videos and reviews with my hat that's gonna be going forward permanently so I'm sorry if you don't like me wearing a hat I can't really help that it's just your issue so if you like me with my hat on please stay tuned because we've got a lot of great stuff coming up on this channel and I'll be wearing my hat with the content that's coming up on this channel so that's the hat issue. Um, thanks for listening to that. The next issue I wanted to talk about are clones. Um, so I was recently being asked about why I haven't done any fragrances or reviews of clones um, that are very popular out there. Um, and I was like wondering, there's a reason why I'm not doing videos. I mean, first of all, let me just clarify what clones are. Clones are basically... Uh, remakes or redos of very popular fragrances and uh, a company that's known for cloning comes out and just clones that fragrance right away to tap into the, um, what do you call it, the profit margin of a very popular fragrance. So basically they come, they come around and they just launch a fragrance that's like a clone of something very popular and they'll sell it at really, really cheap prices and um, and that's basically what a clone is. Now, I want to also clarify, there are fragrances that are clones that are also fragrances that might be inspired or accidentally influenced or inspired by a very popular fragrance. For example, there's a fragrance by the name of uh, Hachivat from a brand called Nishan. It supposedly kind of smells like Aventus. Then there's also a fragrance by uh, Roger Parfums called Elysium. I think it's like a combo of Aventus, Bleu de Chanel, sort of things like that. Inspired, perhaps not really, uh, just influenced maybe, yes. I don't call those clones, I just feel those are inspired fragrances or influenced fragrances. But if you have a company, it's all they do is just basically clone a very popular fragrance after another very popular fragrance, then that is a clone house and that is the kind of fragrance I don't want to work with on this channel going forward. 
and uh, I've decided no more. Now I have some clones in my collection, which I'll continue using or including in videos and lists and things like that. But I'm not gonna go out there and search out more clones just to bring here and say, here's a clone that's really excellent and you know, wear it and so forth. Because this just channel after all is about perfume companies and brands and I want to focus on brands that are actually doing something unique with their fragrances, not just a brand or a, a company that's just nothing but completely unoriginal and all they do is basically clone a brand and then, I mean, a clone a, a, a fragrance and then another clone of a fragrance and then another clone of a fragrance. It's, I find that to be a little weird. Um, again, I'm only talking about clone companies, not necessarily a brand that just has one that might be influenced or inspired by another fragrance because they have truly original fragrances in their collection except for one or two that might be influenced by very popular fragrances or it could even be accidental influences or inspirations. But those, are the, those, are com those companies are fine. I'm just talking about companies that all they do is clone, clone after clone after clone after clone. It's, those are the companies I don't want to work with on this channel. And if you are thinking about working with me, guys, I'm very sorry, but I do not work with companies that uh, all they do is clone fragrances. I'm sorry, this might upset some of you and it might upset some brands. And uh, I also want to mention how recently I was sent a fragrance just out of the blue Without contacting me, I received a bottle of something. I'm not going to say who it is or what it is. It's just, it arrived and then I smelled it and I was like, wow, this smells like something I already know. Then I kind of, you know, figured out what it was and I'm like, okay, here we go. This is another clone from a brand that's known for nothing but clones. And I wrote back to them and I said, please don't send me anything unsolicited. Please contact me before you send me anything. And I told them I have decided I no longer want to work with clone houses or clones and they kind of wrote back a nasty letter to me and said well all fragrances are inspirations or influences not necessarily clones i'm like well no your your brand i didn't write back i'm, I'm just gonna leave it at that but your brand is known for cloning all you do is clones i don't see a single original fragrance in your lineup of fragrances so i'm not interested in working with you so I apologize if this upsets you, but on this channel, I will not be doing any further clone reviews. So that's that. Actually leads me to a couple of other things that I didn't mention at the beginning of the video that I was going to talk about. First uh, point was, I also, want, I also want to say, when I do reviews for fragrances and I like say that it's, it's like an excellent, excellent release, it's because it's my own taste. There are certain fragrances that I like a lot, and there are fragrances that I don't like. I'm trying to not review things that I don't like on this channel, but when I say something is really, really good, really, really good, don't just jump out and go grab a bottle of it because my taste is not the same as your taste. So my advice to you would be to go grab a sample or decant and uh, test it out before you jump. Or if you have access to stores that sell fragrances, go there and test them out, smell them and see if they, they are what I say they are. Sometimes you might not react the same way and sometimes you will. And I can't guarantee that you're gonna like everything that I recommend on here. So I just wanna make sure that you don't burn out by buying something blind and, and then coming back to me and saying, hey, that was the worst fragrance ever or something. I mean, you know my taste, you see the videos I do on this channel, so you kind of have an idea of the kinds of fragrances I like and the kind of fragrances that I don't like. And that's probably why you follow this channel compared to others, or you follow other channels similar to this, but you come back to this because there's certain styles of fragrances that you like that I like, and we kind of uh, mesh well together, if that makes sense. But Always get yourself a sample or decant before jumping on a full bottle because you don't want to get burned out by something that I really, really like and it turns out to be something really, really weird that you won't like and you have this bottle that you paid $200 for and you're trying to figure out how to sell it or get rid of it or return it. The goal of this channel is for me to go experience these things or smell these things so like, let's for example, go experience shops and events and uh, perfumeries and things like that and come back and 
tell you and educate you about them as well. So that's also why I think doing clones or not doing clones is more appropriate for me because I'm all about the perfumes and the brands and their creations and the perfumers and the history and the notes and all that good stuff where when I have a clone I'm talking about, it's like, well, they basically just copied that fragrance and to capitalize on their success. So it, it just does, didn't make sense to me. So that's what this channel is about. My basic goal for this channel is to learn as much as I can about the perfume industry, which means the actual perfumes, the perfumer, the history, the brand, uh, I don't know, even the artwork and the design work. I want to learn all that stuff because I find it to be very, very uh, fun. And then for me to tell you all about it and then educate you all about what I'm learning. So that's the goal of this channel if you didn't understand. And of course, reviews are uh, going to be normal thing here and I will review fragrances. And I, I review for myself and I also review for Saffler Bond. And uh, I review mostly fragrances that I love, uh, or at least like, if not love. Most of them are loves, for sure. Some might be likes, but I don't want to review uh, fragrances I don't love. I might review fragrances I don't love from designers, but definitely I won't review fragrances I don't like from niche or designer brands. I just will pass on them and don't say a word. Finally, Let's go ahead and announce the winners for some of the fragrances that I had reviewed here. And again, I'm so sorry about uh, getting delayed on this one from about two and a half weeks ago for Parfum du Cita, Fleur de Lolita, and Erawan, the samples. Uh, they're actually not samples, they're decants. They're about eight mil, seven to eight milliliter uh, decant bottles that I showed you in the video. And the winner for this is Norbert Farkas. Um, let me put my glasses on so I can spell out the name. Um, Norbert is N-O-R-B-E-R-T, Farkas, F-A-R-K-A-S. So if you are Norbert Farkas, please get in touch with me. Send me your information, full information please, so that we can keep the communication to a minimum because I'm extremely busy these days. Um, so all I need from you, your full name, your full address, email address, and phone number so I can pass that on to Pafam Dusita. All right, the next giveaway announcement is from the Oliver & Co. Uh, preview I did with Oliver Valverde of Oliver & Co. And you get to pick a, a bottle of your choice uh, for the prize. And the giveaway winner is Zane Torgane, Z-A-N-E, and the last name is T-O-R-G-A-N-E. Congrats to you. Congrats to you as well, uh, Norbert. But Zane, please send me your full name, full address, phone number and email address so I can pass that on to Oliver of Oliver & Co. It's a Madrid brand. If you didn't watch the video, please watch it. It's a very, very awesome uh, collection of fragrances. Very avant-garde though, so not your traditional fragrances. All right, the third announcement uh, uh, is going to be for the Carta Moena 1269 samples. And the winners are, there's five of them. You'll all receive a, a sample. So the first winner is Jonathan B. Swift, J-O-H-M-A. T H A N dot B dot Swift, S W I F T. Second winner is Rebecca Pena, R E B E C C A P E N A. Third winner is Albert Wesker, A L B E R T W E S K E R. Fourth winner is John Komatsu, J O N K O M A T S U. Fifth winner is Bernie 777, B E R N I E 777. Congrats to you. Again, please send me your full name, full address, phone number, and email address so I can get that sent to Cartum so that they can send out your samples. Finally, the, the 100 samples winner. So this was a question that, I mean, actually a comment left on my video for a fragrance by the name of Gucci Guilty Absolute. So a lot of you guessed it, and a lot of you also guessed Noir Anthracite. Two very non-traditional designer releases from 2017, and actually both of those are pretty non-conventional. People thought they were just way out there. I personally think they're really, really great releases, and they're very niche quality, but they remind me of fragrances that you would have smelled back in the 80s from the designers. So I don't think they're that original. It's just kind of like 
throwbacks to the 80s, I think, personally. But anyway, a lot of you guessed it, so I had to randomize the list. And the 100 samples winner is uh, N. Rosenbeck. N-R-O-S-E-N-B-E-C-K. So if you are N. Rosenbeck, please message me your full information, full name, full address, email address, and phone number so that I can make arrangements to send you the 100 samples because those will be sent by me. And that's pretty much it, guys, for this video. I appreciate you uh, sitting and watching this longer than normal video, although I've been doing some long videos lately. But I appreciate you watching. And also, uh, stick around for February. We're going to have some great stuff coming up. A lot of designer videos. And of course, once that month is over, we're going to go back to the regularly scheduled program. But I'm, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and try and... Uh, make it more like a 65-35 on this channel, maybe even 60-40, 60% a niche indie and 40% designer, somewhere around there. Because I, I do love I do love designer fragrances, some more than others, some that are more interesting than others. So I will I will do my best to include more designer videos on this channel going forward because. Uh, a lot of you think that I'm not into the designer sense, and some I'm not. Some that smell uh, very identical to others, I'm not. But there are some original ones, and I will focus on doing more videos about those fragrances. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, please like it. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you still haven't subscribed to this channel, there's a subscribe button below. So that click that subscribe button and also click the bell icon so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways and so that you don't miss out on uh, you know announcements for future uh, giveaway winners because um, a couple things a couple more things I just remembered a couple of uh, some of you are, are commenting like oh I never get to win anything and I, I look back at your comments and I'm like well there's a reason why you're not winning anything first of all you're not following the rules so I can't qualify you if everybody else follows the rules and you're not you're not following the rules and so I can't select you know I can't add you into the list of um, uh, a randomized list of names because first of all you didn't uh, you, you didn't follow the rules so I can't put you in there versus the ones that that did so if you follow the rules and put down all the information I'm asking like for example for the Camel by Zoologist Perfumes Review, I ask you to put down what your dream animal would be for Zoologist Perfumes to create for their next perfume. Plus, I also put, told you to put down your country. So if you didn't follow those rules, I can't put you in along with the ones that did, if that makes sense. So follow the rules so you'll qualify to win because people, uh, real people do win here on this channel. Um, and I think that's it. I don't remember anything else. So please do that. Let's get this going and uh, you'll have a chance at winning uh, giveaways in the future. All right, guys. Have a good one. Goodbye.